Dear Diary 2019, what the hell was that? Last year I had some really high highs and really low lows and overall I felt super unproductive and I want that to change. My biggest issue is that I overthink and overcommit myself mentally and then I just freeze and don't know where to start anything. So I don't start anything. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that mental freeze that I self-administer to myself, how I want to use the word measurable as my guide for this year, how I'm going to give Trello a red hot go in helping me organize myself and what Trello is. And then I'm going to list a bunch of things that I want to achieve this year. I almost feel like last year being a little shit has encouraged me to want more and to go after the life I want. Thank you Amy Landino card here somewhere. So often in the past I don't know where to start. There's so many things I'm interested in and I'm really good at making lists and schedules and plans but just not following through because once I start thinking about it I just overload myself and freeze and stall and then achieve nothing because I don't know where to start and that includes this intro. At what point do I start with and what is it that will make you watch more of this video and not running to the next recommended video any second now? I am my own worst enemy. Not only do I need to find ways to combat myself but ways to retrain myself out of the bad habits, lazy habits and those mental blocks that I give myself so I can actually achieve things. An example of that mental block I wanted to start YouTube for posterity in case I died and my unborn granddaughter didn't get a chance to really know who I am. So I start pottering around with YouTube and then those thoughts kick off. Oh, what if I could have a, a, a channel that thrives and grows and could I make money and could I leave my job? And then what and how do I make content to get people to subscribe and watch videos to actually achieve that? I'd like to point out that I have only 47 subscribers and half of those are when I went through a phase of subscribe swapping for a day before I decided that that was enough. I'm sure like this will sound like a jackass thing to say, but I need to stop worrying about that. I need to stop worrying about what others want to see and worry about what I want to put out there and why I started YouTube in the first place. And that doesn't come from a place of arrogance, but a place of truth and what I want my truth to be. Before making this video, I went back and watched a video I made in August. I realized the frustrations I was expressing about the struggles of wanting to do so many things and not knowing where to start was the same that it had been for a few years now. I have spent time in December organizing, planning, scheduling for the new year. And already I know that I've overcommitted myself and I'm gonna have to scale it back. But at least I recognize that. I'm more mindful of that. I know that if I repeat the same mistake, I will get to the end of the year and just want to blow up. Measurable. That is what I've chosen for my word of the year. Something which I have never done before. Thank you, Amy Landino and Taylor R. Card somewhere. I actually figured out all by myself before launching into YouTube searching that one of my biggest problems is the goals I make are too general. Like, I want to study Japanese or I want to lose weight. I could lose one kilo and say, I lost weight, but the intent behind the goal really wasn't achieved. So that is why my word is measurable. I need measurable goals that I can firmly achieve, black and white, take out the gray. Not saying that there isn't a place for gray, because you know, I feel like that's where the rest of life lives, but I need specifics. I could write lists in any old place, but that's the issue. I write them on the sticky notes at work, I write them on the pad on the kitchen bench, I write them in my phone in the notes or in OneNote or in a book I had upstairs and then I just have all these lists all over the place, not in one place where I can keep a really good track of them. And that's where I'm hoping Trello comes in. Trello is a place to organize like your information and tasks, projects, goals and the likes. And the one thing I really, really love about it is it's not just a web page and it's not just an app. You can access Trello from your computer screen or your phone. And even though the phone is a smaller condensed version, it still looks and feels similar and it's really easy and fluid to use. As much as I like pen and paper to be realistic, I need to use my phone because I have those thoughts that go 
and that's when I put them on the sticky notes or notepad and they just get lost forever. So I like that I can use my phone, but then come back to home and use my computer on like an extended huge size blind person version. I'm new to Trello, so I don't have that many boards and I'm okay with that. I'll use it how I've got it and if I need to develop that as I go, then I will. So you can make as many boards as you want and I'll open my YouTube folder. It's, I'm still working on all this. So then you can have within the boards these lists here and you can have these cards here. And then underneath uh, each card you can, um, let's have a look at this one. You can make checklists, you can add a description, you can put activity of things that have occurred under this card, like steps you've taken to, to do things that are listed on this card. You can put due dates, you can have attachments, you can have all these different ways of helping you keep track of what you're doing and why you're doing it and different ways to search for it. And I love the way that it breaks things down. So I have video ideas, which are just kind of general. And then I have specific videos I have decided I want to do, but I need to plan. And then once I've filmed them, they're going to sit here and I'll know that they need editing, not the footage and stuff, just the reminder and then, and to upload. And then let's say if I go back here, I have one board that is like kind of like a bullet journal, but a, you know, to do list. So, one of the lists is week one. I've got one of those for every week of the year. And then I've got um, little checklists in each one. I'm going to use that as kind of like a, a daily diary and a to-do list. So I want to look at Trello every morning. And that, that way I'll know what my day and week has, uh, has in store for me. I also have a, a 2020 goals board, which has a variety of things that I'd like to... Uh, to do or to consider looking at this year. I love that I can plan for my holiday in Trello as well because you do so much research and you get so lost in uh, all the bits and pieces. This is new and we're actually going only in a couple months so it's not that full but that's okay. I love that I can use it for the future. And uh, then I've got a couple in there that I actually um, am starting to use for work as well. So that's Trello. I know that that was a really quick run through and everyone's will be different. You can use it for different things and in different ways and set it up to kind of personalize it to your, to your needs. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to give it a, a proper go and, and use it. And hopefully it will help, um, keep me on track, but also keep things visually in front of me so that I can kind of look over it and check it from, you know, day to day, not only for those day to day things, but for future things and, and things that I, I go, oh, that's right, I did want to think about doing this this year and and, uh, and achieve that. So I feel like I'm just about at the end of the video. There's just one more thing to do and that is to decide on my definitive measurable list and goals for 2020. It's That's a big call. Considering I've talked about how to try and keep myself organized and the fact that I overcommit myself mentally, I need to make sure that I'm not shortchanging myself, but that I'm not uh, overdoing it as well. So I'm going to go have some dinner and then I'll come back with some decisions. I could sit here for another few weeks thinking about measurable items to add to my list for the year. But by the time that happens, I'll then only have 11 months left to do the things that I want to do. Also, if I sit around and keep thinking about it, I'm going to add more things, overload myself and end up right where I don't want to be. So I have nine measurable things that I want to achieve this year. My most challenging three, I'll leave until the end. I am going to quit Coke for six months. Why not forever, you say, or why only six months? Well, I've done it before. And when I did it before, I cut the addiction and then I was able to enjoy a Coke every now and then without not wanting it every two seconds. So, January 12 today and I have not had a coke this whole new year yet. Cross fingers. I want to take a photo a day for my 365 project which a friend suggested to me. I will put the link below. You take a photo a day and at the end of the year you've got a collection of photos of things that you wanted to take whether it be like selfies and like changes in yourself which 
I'm kind of curious about or the way you spent your day or food or your kids or like scenery whatever you want just means you have that collection of your year in one spot I created a Wix website and there's part of me that isn't quite sure why or maybe it's just that it's part of that whole wanting to share or document journal and the likes and I created it and then did nothing with it uh, until a few weeks ago where I started posting more regularly and I want to do at least one post a fortnight. That's on the list. I want to get my MR license and where I'm from, the medium rigid license, uh, will allow me to drive the fire trucks that we have on hand as I'm a bushfire volunteer. I've been meaning to do it for a while and I just, I don't know, kept finding other things to do or uh, whatever. I'm just gonna make up excuses. I'm gonna get off my ass and get it so I can get some practice in before the kick of fire season. My granddaughter turned two a couple of days ago and probably about six months before she was born and I live in a different state, I started knitting a blanket and I don't knit avidly, I can do straight lines. And I started knitting a blanket that was uh, involved with like lots of squares and at the end you put them all together. And uh, that's not finished yet. I, and I know it will take a little while, but I figure if I just do maybe one square a week, by the end of it, I'll have 52 bloody squares and it'll be fine. And even if I have to pick up the pace in winter because I'm sitting around a campfire anyway, that's fine. At the end of 2020, you heard it here, I will finish this goddamn blanket. <laughs> I am going to lose eight kilos. And no, that's not part of my top three. And the reason is I've done it before. I know how to do it. I just have to get back in my routine. Last year hit me for six with some illness problems and I was unable to kind of exercise. And then even when I was able to exercise, I had just become lazy because of it. Um, and then I got sick again and then I had a holiday and then I got sick and whatever. So I'm feeling a bit more human this year and I could say 10, I could say 15. But I'm going to say eight. It's not double digits. And if I lose more bonus, but at a minimum, eight. Upload 24 videos to YouTube. Now, last year when I was a bit kind of lost and confused about what direction I wanted to take my channel in and, and what it really meant to me and what I was going to do with it, I just started doing these little try it Tuesdays, about five minute videos about something random I bought from the grocery store just to get me doing things regularly, which I, I did for a while. Um, and then life just kind of became difficult. But anyway, whether it's a small try at Tuesday or a vlog or a what am I doing with my life video <laughs> or I don't know, an event, whatever it is, 24. And then if I put more up, then great, so be it. I want to read two books. What? Just two? Only two? Geez, that's a bit crap. I read like 30 bajillion. Cool. I don't really read books very often. I find that I'm doing other things or when I do read a book, I kind of become useless to my family <laughs> because I can't put it down. Not only do I want to read two books, but I have to figure out a way that I can still function like a human being when I'm doing it. And again, if I read more than two books, great. And if I read the two books, then I've achieved what I set out to do at the start of this year. And I'm gonna call this number one. And last but not least, probably my biggest bugbear. I studied Japanese in university, but it was quite broken over many years. And I've studied Japanese off and on since on my couch and, you know, it hasn't been the most consistent. I haven't had that thing, that test or that exam, that, I don't know, that goal at the end of it to be able to test myself against or push myself because I know I've got that test. Smart or not, I am going to put my hand up for the JLPT level five test. This is a language proficiency test. It's the lowest out of the five. And I don't expect to be ridiculously fluent, but I want to have something to drive me to create that consistent study. Oh my God. One day me and hubby want to live there. So this one is, um, I need to do this one. Yeah. 
So they're my nine black and white measurable goals for 2020. And that's not to discount, you know, the things in the gray area. Like I'd like to strengthen my upper body. I've got bushfire courses I'd like to complete. I would like to improve my photography. I would like to create some healthier habits and I would like to start waking up earlier in the morning and do something productive with my time. But I'm not holding myself accountable specifically to those things. Just my nine. If you made it to the end of this video, I say thank you and I wish you a belated happy new year and hopefully you've made some, I don't want to use the word resolutions, some, some decisions, some choices, some thoughts, some goals. And I'll see you in the next 23 minimum videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching. All right, on the bed. I'm gonna kill this dog. <laughs> I almost feel. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm looking at the camera. So I keep looking down. I was expressing, expressing, shh, one cappuccino. I feel like I've got a little bit of a croak, a ribbit. <laughs> I've spent time in December scratching, apparently. The gener general, <laughs> generic and general made a baby. <sighs> Hitchcock, <laughs> Hitchcockers, disciplined to disciplined, discipline. Good job. So that might be my top nine. Oh, no. So that's my top. Oh, fucking not top nine.